What's going on family? Currently 11 days out from my show. We're heading over to California in eight days. So everything's starting to kick in. I'm digging really deep. And today I'm gonna to be taking you guys through a full day of aggressive fat loss. So this is gonna be meal number one. Geez, I'm like half out of it. Um, I didn't eat this morning yet. It's currently 1.14 and this is my first meal, like I said. So it's just literally gonna be 200 grams of chicken. I'm just a little bit lazy, so I like to get this Lilydale here. And then I'm gonna have some bold and spicy French's uh, mustard. You wanna make sure you check the back, make sure it's zero calorie. One little thing is that if you do buy these packs, the turkey breast actually has better macros. And I didn't know that until I bought this already. Although the chicken breast is still pretty clean. So time to enjoy this meal. I love washing everything down with Diet Pop. And I recently found out Diet Dr. Pepper, one of my favorites, have caffeine and I've been drinking them at night. And I've been tripping, I literally have like five of them and be so wired, but now I know. Don't make the same mistake as me, guys. To keep it real with you guys, my energy levels are up and down. I like to call it the diet waves. So I'm feeling pretty good. Usually in the mornings I am, so I'm gonna take advantage of this time get some work done so I'm heading over to Bliss to meet up with Eddie. We are one day behind our upload schedule because of a minor technical difficulty which is going to happen with these type of things. So I'm gonna go upload that video and get in touch with my clients because obviously they're number one and then probably sadly once the energy levels drop hit the gym but I think we're hitting one with Mr. Jeff Nipper aka Pencil. So, you know, he always pushes me to the max. It's gonna be a good one. Trap, trap money, penny. This shit got me in my feelings. You guys already know, I had to get some more caffeine. It's getting me going through this diet. If you guys are ever in Kelowna, I definitely recommend hitting up Bliss. We've been coming here over Starbucks, even though I still think Starbucks has a better cookie. On a side note, this place has like amazing baked goods that I want to try out after the show. Every day I'm eyeing them and I'm one day closer to eat them all and then to get fat again. Look who showed up. Last night, Eddie and I got an extra cardio session in for one hour. What was it, like 3 a.m.? Yeah. And then we did posing. Um, before that, we were working together, so. This guy, had to thank him. He's been grinding so hard, uh, pumping out the YouTube channel, pumping out cardio with me as a friend. So, I really appreciate this dude right here. On a side note, this coffee is really keeping me satiated. Um, I'm in my zone, just head down in the computer. So, I'm feeling really, really, really good. Hopefully I can maintain this feeling before we get this workout going. So we're about to meet up with Jeff soon. I don't know if I'm gonna get a pre-workout in, pre-workout meal in or not yet. So I want to see how I'm feeling. Just waiting to hear back from him. Stoked to get this leg day. This guy's savage, as you guys know, Mr. Mr. Pencil. And now the aggressive fat loss is kicking in. <laughs> I'm dragging my butt, walking back to the place. Shreddy shoulder, Eddie. Get in there. It's getting there. <laughs> it's getting there. He's actually digging with me because we want to take some lit photos while we in Cali. Even though he's not prepping, he's still digging. Oh man, it seems like every upload day there's always something going on. So yesterday, I guess I told you about the um, upload mistake and then this time the internet's been so choppy. But it's time to take some pre-workout, get to this workout. And I think Eddie's trying to aggressively lose fat too. Tell him about post-show, how you feel. Contest prep is pretty hardcore. And then one of the hardest parts is not just getting to that point but maintaining a uh, good body composition especially when dieting so aggressively i feel like the hardest thing for me post show is not having an end goal afterwards because you do all this dieting for a purpose which was the show and after that of course you can indulge and you know enjoy yourself when you're supposed to but then afterwards you don't know what to do you want to stay lean but you also want to enjoy yourself but then you don't have a goal so it's kind of up and down yeah so you have to be realistic with yourself because like let's say you want to maintain a contest prep physique that's definitely not realistic for people's lifestyles you just have to meet in the middle 
have a physique that you enjoy, but also have a lifestyle you enjoy as well. But right now, gotta dig aggressively for the show. Um, like I said, 11 days out, gotta bring my best and time to dig. So pre-workout time and lower body day. Holy fuck. I, know, I get in a good mood at the gym, but like, I was so frustrated with the upload and the internet. Oh, really? Yeah. 11 days up with the main man. The main man? <laughs> the main man. <laughs> man, Pat, you're looking crazy, bro. Like, this is, this is definitely the best I've ever seen you back home. This is insane. So this is crazy, like, Pat is at, like, he's at a point now where, like, everything is so dialed in that even when he's really flat, he still looks super aesthetic. Like, you're looking ready, man. I think that's the first time I can truly say that. Yeah. Looking, from the front, you're looking really ready. Like, with a carb up, yeah. you know, just, like, you have that really round look now, even when you're really flat. It's amazing. So let's see, uh, let's just see a quarter turn. Okay. So here, remember, you want to like think of it like you're holding like a rod, so kind of keep everything in mind here. Like this. This so you have a tendency to kind of turn a little too much. You want to be like really tall, like a statue here, like really look look straight up, not be tempted to almost turn into like. Let's see some back pose. These are gonna be the last thing to come in, but I can see like kind of squaring off here and like starting to get some of those lines coming aside, which is really good to see. I've never seen that definition of you before. So it's crazy. Let's see a back double. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, just starting to lift a lot lighter. Yeah, that's so crazy, man. Yeah, sick, bro. You're good. Let's keep let's keep digging. And that's like yeah, that's just the bottom line right now. Just keep digging. Like over the last five days, I've seen such a huge change, man. Like. Your front is like totally there, and then with the back, it's just a matter of like getting the glutes and hamstrings in. That's it, really. That's the only thing left. And I, I feel like if we just like with the progress we've made over the last five days, like five pounds in five days, if we can keep that momentum going, I feel like we'll we'll be there. Yeah. Good man. It's exciting. Thank you. Yeah. Woo. One one thing that I noticed with Pat that I have never seen in a competitor before is like very positive attitude like I know even notice more from the last time you prepped like your body image and like your perception of yourself is not as negative this time like even just like with me like, you're probably in your head at times you feel like it but it's been very very positive and like even your mood is like amazing given that you're on basically no carbs like at least you know I mean yeah, most, yeah. most of the time and I see you a lot so like, yeah whatever you've done psychologically to like maintain that balance is yeah. super impressive man like, I wish I wish I could man I'm I'm not even 10% in like, I find, like, you know, in between meals and stuff, it's hard to keep your meals. Yeah, um, one of the biggest things I'd say is Jeff really emphasize recovery. And I find that, like, I like to really, really push it in the gym, like, go past failure. I'll not sleep as much because I like to work and grind out. But I really prioritize sleep. Follow more structured training because a lot of the time I'm not adherent to the training protocol because I like to push. Um, but toning back actually was better for me at this point. For sure. Yeah, this point. Yeah. So. I usually, like, as a coach, like to let you kind of do that because I know yeah. that that psychology works well for you. Like, yeah. And it just is more motivating. But at a certain point, it really does become counterproductive and it's going to make you look worse, feel worse. Yeah, just not work. So um, I'm just glad to hear that. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. uh, now I need to get my second meal of the day and I think it's like 6 p.m. so I'm getting pretty hungry. <laughs> you guys could probably tell how super low energy in the change room that leg day kicked my ass but I got my Dr. Dye Pepper, I got my baby looking like a baddie as usual heading over to Safeway because the meat I had in the fridge was bad oh, really? so now I gotta walk you there get it cook it <laughs> and starve a little bit longer
All right, guys, so we have the next meal here, and it's uh, lean ground beef. This was 193 grams, so approximately 200 grams, which is 40 grams of protein. I'm going to have this on the side, Cholula, and I have uh, this mustard again. I'm really excited to eat this. It smells so good. I think there's like steak spice, roasted garlic, and pepper. So let's get it in. <laughs> and then uh, Jeff got the what was those bud flavors? Bud Light. Bud Light. Bud Light flavors? summer summer mix, man. Which one's the best out of the box? Uh, I like the I like the apple. Apple? Best. Yeah, it's my child. It's right yeah, after the show. After the show. Oh, yeah. Celebration beer. You're gonna have to go down. Low key, I'll probably get really drunk off one beer, especially. <laughs> Every time Jeff and I drank together, he definitely drank, out drank me by a lot. <laughs> Talking to Sky, and she's like, I think <laughs> editing would be cool. And I'm like, you should start a vlog. <laughs> I don't know. Some type of YouTube channel. So I have the other camera there, so you never know. She might have to jump on the YouTubes, and you guys can probably tell I'm feeling good because I got my food in. They made those burgers taste amazing. I'm telling you straight up, amazing. Could just because I'm dieting. But my secret spices. Secret spices? Yeah, you don't know what I put in there. She got the sauce, baby. So point number one is that place looks amazing. The mountains here literally doesn't give it justice in uh, Kelowna. Second of all, <laughs> I want a Subway cookie. The new raspberry ones, they look amazing. Third of all, if you do cheat, you're only cheating yourself. You're literally self-harming. Because at the end of the day, you're either going to come in fatter or you're going to have to make up for it in another way. So. When you have that temptation and you want to eat something, you're literally just gonna make it worse, make yourself suffer. So you instantly regret it. So just think about that a little bit. Hurting yourself by cheating, because you're only cheating you. Just here to get some work done. Staying inside all day gets kind of boring, so switching up the scenery makes time go by. And then uh, until the diet wave hits again, get some more food in. Okay guys, I'm gonna finish off with my last meal of the day. It's gonna be 200 grams of white chicken breast, and then I'm gonna finish off 100 grams of lean ground beef. And that's gonna be my last meal of the day. And that's it guys. And to be 100% transparent with you guys, honestly, this is tough. Like I just got back from cardio, but before that I passed out. Passed out as in I fell asleep and took a nap, but this is tough. Like if you guys, this is not, I wouldn't say this is the healthiest way to do things, but I know people are gonna go to extremes to lose weight. And at least this way, you're gonna get in enough protein to maintain the muscle that you do have, especially if you guys are working out. But there's two sides to it. So let's say I diet so hard today, like I feel like crap, I get through it and I'm aggressively losing weight. You're achieving your goal. But if tomorrow I start binging and I eat even more, then I basically wasted this whole day suffering. So unless that you, unless you guys can perform this and then get straight back to a regular diet or hit this and let's say your trip or wedding or whatever is coming up is happening and then get back to it, it's not worth it. Because if you don't get straight back to a regular diet or slowly reverse back up, you're just gonna gain all the fat back. And this is not the message I'm trying to push. I just wanted to share the nitty gritty life of bodybuilding it can be tough it's not the healthiest but you got to do what you got to do for me at this point in my current situation this is what i have to do and yeah guys just want to be real i'm i can smell this it smells so good so i can't wait to eat this i'm going to smash this end off the video here if you guys want me to talk about this in more depth and how you can directly implement this into your lifestyle please let me know in the comment section below if you guys liked it let me know as well subscribe if you're not part of the team i'll see you guys soon and i need to dig in